before you can ever break a cycle is you have to identify that there actually is a cycle. You have to be able to identify that there is a cycle. So often we complain and complain and complain and we won't change and we keep repeating things, but we never recognize, we never identify, hey, I'm repeating something over and over again, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's in your health, whether it's with your children, on your job, whatever it is, you keep repeating the same cycles over and over again looking at the other person or looking at the situation and we never identify hey every time i get a new job i have the same issue every time i get in a relationship i have the same issue that's a cycle that's a cycle every time i lose weight six months later i gain weight every time i save some money a year later i'm broke again that's a cycle well, before you can break cycles, you have to identify that there is actually a cycle. Now, when we talk about identifying cycles, it's more than just saying, oh, yeah, I got a cycle. This, this keeps happening. No, because if that's the case, you would have broken it by now. So identifying a cycle means this. I see what it is. That's the first step. You identify means you can see that it's something that's going on with me. Something that's going on with me. Identifying is this. Understand, and I talk about this on my blog, understand that we oftentimes look at the fruit and not the root. But when we're ready to break cycles, we have to stop looking at the symptoms, the symptoms of the problem, whether it's the person, the bad behavior, the lack of, whatever that symptom is, the emotional pain, and look at what's the root of this thing. What is the root of the problem? That's part of seeing what it is. That's part of identifying. You have to see, okay, what's the root of it? What's the root of it? And then once you say, okay, I identified it, I see the root, can you recognize that there's a pattern? Because see, it's not enough to say, you know, I keep going through the same thing. I see, okay, I keep having these ill feelings. I keep having financial strains. I keep going through divorce. I keep having bad communication on, on my job or with certain people, with family members. I see that I identify that. I see that's the problem. I see that's the root of it. The root of it is not so much the the things that's happening but what is the cause of it so once we do that then we recognize hey what's the pattern in these things what keeps happening what keeps happening to cause this cycle to keep perpetuating because even when we understand that a cycle in cycles there's patterns because you don't have a cycle unless there's a pattern of events that causes the cycle. And so often we never take the time to look at the patterns that have been plaguing us, us in our life. You have to look at the patterns when you're trying to identify. Once you say, okay, hey, I see that every year in the fourth month, I start this pattern arises. In every relationship, by six months in the relationship, I still we start having I start having these issues with certain people. And it's always the same type of issues. So that's understanding the pattern that's going on in within the cycle. You have to know that there's a pattern that's going on with the cycle. So once you identify, hey, I see what it is, I recognize it, I see the fruit. Brother, I see, I'm stopped looking at the fruit, but I'm looking at the root of the problem. I understand the patterns because there are patterns that go on. Then the next thing is, how am I going to change it? Because cause see, what happens is we'll go through these cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles and go through these patterns and we can identify, but we're not quite ready to change them. We want to complain about it. 
We want to complain about how they affect us, how life is so horrible, how people keep doing us bad, how fat you are, how broke you are, but you never do anything about it. You're not willing to change, but you're willing to keep complaining about the pattern or the cycle that you're going through. So if you're going to break these cycles, it's part. The first step is to identify. You have to be willing to identify what's going on. And identify is not, like I said, it's not just seeing it. Because a lot of times we see what's going on. You have to recognize the patterns. How they affect you. Understand, let me stop looking at the fruit of the problem. The behaviors, the actions, the emotions that they cause me. But why I have these behaviors. Why I have these emotions. And how they affect me. And how they are affecting me. Or how they have been a, a plague in me. Hey Derek, how are you? How they have been affecting you throughout your life. Why is it that every time you save three or $4,000 in six months, you're broke again? Why is it? It's a pattern that you have to recognize. What is it? To change something. And then you said, you know, we want change oftentimes, but we are never willing to do those things necessary to see the change. Einstein says this. Insanity is you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, and you expect a different outcome. You keep repeating the same cycles in your life. Complaining about the pain, the shame, the hurt, the broken, brokenness, the uncomfortableness. But you never stop and change what you're doing. You never, you're not willing to go through the process of changing your lifestyle or changing your habits. To changing those things that's been plaguing you so that you can break the cycle so that you can break the cycles in your life. So we're gonna be talking about breaking cycles for the next few weeks uh, because, and we're gonna go more in depth, but the first step in breaking cycles, you have to identify, identify the cycles. If you want change, if you want willing to break cycles in your life, you have to identify, you have to stop looking at the fruit of the problem and look at the root of the problem. And then you have to ask yourself, Am I willing to do what's necessary to change it? Or am I just want to complain?